Hi, thank you for joining me here. We are going to make this cute rotate coin bag project in this video. Since the winter cottage design, I'd like to explore paper engineering more. I have made structure in this design stronger. I also love all the details in this project. Hope you like it too. The download link is in the description below. Once clicking, it will lead you to this page. There are two studio files for Cameo and two SVG files for Quicker. Once you download the file on your computer, upload the money bank top SVG file into design space. Here are all the elements for top part of the money bank. Uh, we are going to right click and ungroup. We are going to change score lines for some of the elements. First one, this is a bank sign. We don't do anything, so we are going to move it away. This little box here is going to be the coin holder. So select it and go to the right hand side. Choose the top layer only and go to the top, change it to score. Click it again. Both layers are selected and go to the bottom here, click attach. We will need two of these elements. So while we are selecting, right click and duplicate. Now this element is down, we will move it away. Now we have the, the tree here, we are going to leave it to last. We are going to change a big piece first. This bigger piece, then click it, go to the right hand side, select the top layer, change it to score, click it again, and attach two layers together. Same as this piece, choose it, select top layer only, change the score, click again and attach. And we have this sign here. Click the top and then change the score. Click again, attach. This score line there is not for folding, that's for position. So later on you'll find out. I'm going to move it away. I like to focus on these two little elements. So the one with semicircle at the bottom, this is the base of the tree. And this is the three pieces we need. We are going to change the score line first. Click it, go to the right hand side, and change the score. Click again and attach both of them. Same to the base. Change the score. Click again and attach. So what I'm going to do is select both of them, right click, and duplicate. But I'm going to just change the color. You can use the same color, but I like to have a different variety. So I like to change the color to darker green. Select one of them and choose the button there only. And change the color here. I'm just going to select a darker green. Same as this one. Go to the right hand side. Click the button there only. This way it won't change the score line color. So change to this green. Now, we have two different colors of trees, but we are going to do one at a time. Click one tree, right click, duplicate. So one base and two tree make one half of a tree. So if we are going to make one tree, we, are need, we will need another set. Select three of them, right click, and duplicate. These six elements here make one tree. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two light green trees and two darker green trees. So here is one tree. I'm going to select all duplicate again. So here we have two light green trees and same to the darker green. Duplicate. So this is one half set. Select then right click duplicate. So, this is one darker green tree. Select all six of them, right click, and duplicate. Now here, we have four set for four trees in two different colors. 
Now here we have all the elements we need. Okay, we have two of these and the rest pretty much straightforward. Just need to say to cut, cut clip maker to cut. So they are color coded. see all the elements but for page five and six the bank building we are able to squeeze in them in one page so I'm going to do it I'm going to move this item to the corner and go to page six I'm going to rotate it and click the three dots here move object choose page five yeah we we squeeze both elements into one page. Just make, I'm going to move them closer. Just make sure they are not overlap each other. This way we save one page. The rest are looking good. So I'm just going to click continue, set up my scoring tool and cut it. Here are all the cutouts for the top files. There are many small elements. Two bigger pieces there for the bank building. Most of the elements are decorated building itself. I'm going to use phone tabs to attach the decorations on. You can use glue to stick that on. I'm going to show you what's the difference it makes. This is the one with phone tabs and this is the one with glue. So you can see the one with phone tabs is more 3D. There are a lot of details in this building and I really like it. So it's worth to spend time to decorate a building. Just imagine you are doing a paper sculpture. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to put this aside. Make sure we don't lose any pieces. We are going to fold these two pieces first. And all the folding lines, you can see all the school lines. Just pay attention to the roof here. Those four lines, they don't go all the way to the ends. They are for position the decorative panels. We don't need to follow same as these four lines. They are for positions. Right, then we just start folding. This piece is done, it should look like this. This one with a hole here, this one is the front of the building piece. You can see there's a mark here, that's for the bank sign gonna go. Those are the glue tabs. We will fold them backward, except this one. We will fold this one upward. The front piece should look like this. After folding the two building pieces, I'm going to glue the roof decorative panels on. There should be one color in four pieces and one color in six pieces. We'll start from the bottom. Apply glue just under the score mark. Grab the one that has six panels. Start with this color. It should look like this. We will do the same to the other one. So we will do the same to this one. Apply glue just under the position mark. And start from the bottom and then go all the way up.
these two pieces should look like this. Now we are going to assemble the back side. You can see a rectangle position mark. That's where we're going to put where the bank within this rectangle. Next, we are going to put a frame on. I have put the phone tabs at the back just to align them. Now, here's the bank side. I have put phone tabs at the back of the de decorative panels, four door frames and four window frames, and two for the top roof panel. So we are going to attach them to the building panel. Get this piece, this is the back of the bank building. We only need to attach the window frame here. So get to window frame and align them. See. Now this piece is done, we are going to do the front of the building. This piece is the front of the building, the one with the hole here. So we will attach the window first. And two door frame. There's the one is wider. Attach the wider one first. Aligned arc here. Same as the other one. And attach the top layer on. Those two pieces go here. This so one goes on top. Align the top here and the bank sign we just made. I put some phone dot, I put two phone dots at the back. You can see where the marker we just position the sign there. Now, the front piece of the building is down, we just need to attach two pieces together. See the glue tab here. Almost the other side, there's another glue tab here. Now we're going to seal the roof. I'm going to apply glue here and here. In the glue tab. Same as the other side of the roof. Press from inside. Now the bank building is done. These are the pieces for trucks and so all the pieces here are enough to make us four trucks and two of them are facing this direction and two of them are facing this direction. Basically just stack them up. So the one with the wheel is at the bottom. Two wheel and then this one go to the middle, the one with money sign. Go to the top. That's how we're gonna stack them and how we're gonna glue them. That's one 
chop down, do the same to the rest. Now we have four little trucks, they are very cute. Those two pieces are coin holders. Just fold the folding lines first. This is how we're going to fold it. Two taps upward and the rest backward. We're going to seal the end like this. So the coin holder will look like this. The coin holder look like this. Same to the other one. Now we have two coin holders. We have those elements to make the tree. We should have two circle pieces left. We won't use until later on, so leave them. And those are the pieces we need to make four trees. So we're going to do those with semicircles, they are the base of the trees, and those are the main piece of the tree. So fold in the middle, you can see there's a folding line in the middle, just fold in, in the middle. For one tree we are making, we need four pieces of this and two pieces of base. I'm going to show you how to make one and the rest will be the same. Glue two pieces together. And glue those two to one base. Glue two half trees together. Here yeah, we have one little tree. Do the same to the rest, we should have four trees. Now we have finished four little trees. The last two I decide to mix it up the color. So it's up to you how you like to arrange the colors. Here are what we have for the top file. So we should have four trucks and two coin holder, four trees, one bank building, and still two pieces left for later. Now we will move on to the base. Upload the money bank base SVG to design space. Same as the top file, we are going to change score lines for some of the elements. Right click and ungroup. You can see some of them have no score lines. I'm just going to move them away. Now this one, this one definitely need it. Move those away. So the biggest piece is the base itself. Click it, go to the right hand side. Choose score, click it again and attach. So this one's done. Same as the box. This is the box going to catch the coins. Click, attach. This one's done, move away. This one, we're going to use this to make a box inside the base to catch your coins. Go to the top, just go and click again, attach two together. This one is a support box for one of the coke gears. So choose the top layer, score, click again, attach. Now this one. Now we have some small elements here. I'm going to just we have some elements here, they are a bit small, but they are very important. Click this one, same, change to score and attach. Same on this one, choose top layer, change to score and attach. This is the handle, score, attach. And there are two tubes here. This is a gear stripe. Change, click, change the top layer to score line and click it together. 
we will need four of these so while we are still selected we can go to here duplicate and select all of them go to the top here or right click duplicate again so we have four of them now and that's pretty much it so we have we have all the elements we need now we're just going to click make it continue so all the white elements they will be hidden inside the base we don't really see them that's why i choose white color because we can just we can use the cheap white car stock we don't have to use fancy car stock oh look pretty cool four five six page five and six i believe we can put them together i'm going to move it to the bottom rotate it i'm going to move object choose page five I'm going to rotate the other way so this way we fit in and we save another page here just double check nothing overlap each other all looking good and just click continue to set up your scoring tool and cut here are all the pieces for the base I'll walk you through each piece and as we mentioned earlier all the white elements, they are the ones hidden inside the base, so we don't really see them. The most important piece is probably the cog gears. We should have four pieces of this. We are going to fold it like accordions. We are going to use the thickness of the cardstock to make the design work. Grab one piece of this. Fold it like this, one backward, one forward. So this is how we're going to fold it. Then we will glue it together. Align the middle circle and all the teeth properly. Now we have done one cog wheel. We will do the same to the other three. Now we have done four cog gears together. We just glue two together. Same align the circle in the middle and all the teeth. So two of them should look like this. This is one. This is why it's very important to use medium to heavy weight cardstock because we really need the thickness of the cardstock to make this work. We need those four pieces. Those two other connectors and those two other handles. We're going to fold them first. Look at these two pieces first. You can see they are very similar, but one with the bottom, one the bottom is empty. So this one is going inside of this one. The purpose of this is to make the tube stronger. Seal the end together. Align properly. Accuracy is very important here. If we don't align properly, this tube won't be able to fit in that one. Make sure the line well. Same as this one. Make that into a tube shape. So, see the one with the bottom seal is the outside. 
we should be able to fit in like this. Once you fit in, we can seal the bottom. The top should align like this. There are two layers. I'm going to seal the bottom here. So that's one tube down. Pull this end through a cup. Pull it through like this. Then flip down all the tab. Paper to compress. I'm going to secure the inside tubes tabs. Give it a good press from the other side. And we should have a piece that's a circle with a square hole in the middle. Just see how it's like this. All these steps are going to make the design be stronger. This way we hide all the tabs. Give it a good press. This one's done. Next, get these two pieces. Same, this one, you can see it's wrong corner of the glue tab. Round corners of the tab, this one will go inside of this one. So we fold all the folding lines first. Fold it like this and secure the tab at the end. So that's this one. So this one should go in like this. We are going through the cork here. So we will fold down all the tabs on one end like this and secure them. On the second layer of the tabs, we will secure them as well. Press it from the other side. <laughs> now, grab another piece of this, a circle with a square in the middle. Seal like this. Now the two cup wheels should look like this. And grab this piece. This piece will go to the end of here. But we are not going to attach them together just yet. Just fold it first and assemble it into a box. Both ends. Press it till the glue is dry. It should look like this. Later on, we will attach this bit to the end of this cup here, but leave it for now. We are not going to attach them together yet. You get this piece with two holes. This is a support box. It won't be seen from outside, but it's very important. It's going to support. Well, this piece is going to support this gear. Fold all the folding lines first. We should fold this piece like this. Glue the two ends together. Insert all the tabs in. The tabs are big enough to secure the box, but if you're not so sure, you can always glue them together. I'm happy with just like this, so I'm going to leave it like this. Now we have all these pieces for the base. 
This side is the bottom bit. We won't need this piece until the very last end. And this is this piece goes here. But first, we're going to fold the biggest piece. So we're going to fold all the folding lines first. So we should fold this piece like this. This is the back of the base. This piece is folding down and there are two marks here. They are for position the bank building later. Now this piece is done. We are going to attach this one to the back here just to make it stronger because this is the opening. So I'm going to glue it. When glue, make sure we are not covering any folding lines. Just along the line here. And we're not covering the cut here. It should look like this. Get this piece. This is, we're going to make it into a box. This is the coin catcher. So this is a box that will catch the coin. There's a half semicircle here for all the folding lines. Fold this piece like this. Seal the two ends together. And seal the bottom. Hold on the tabs, flip it over, give it a pressure from the other side. Now this box is done. Next we are going to fold this piece. You should fold this piece like this because you're going to attach the opening of the base. So we are going to assemble it like this and with this folding down. So this is where the coin go down. We'll attach the bottom first. Give it a press from here, like this. And get this piece. So what we're gonna do is flip it over. You see here. See this piece can align here. This tab will go underneath here. At the moment, it looks like top, but it's actually underneath. So when you flip over, it's gonna be like this. And those two, two tabs, those two tabs will align here. So we're gonna align here first. Align this hole. We're going to align this rectangle with this rectangle. It's very important to align the rectangles hold properly, otherwise the coins won't be able to go through here. Make sure the rectangle here align. And apply glue here and here. Those, glue, those two glue tabs will align here. If we see from this side, make sure the glue tab doesn't stick out. Yeah. Line this side and this side. Keep the good press from this end. Secure the inside tab as well. And finally secure this tab. Glue 
like the top of and make sure that the edge line Oops, I can press we create a space and the box we made earlier oh yeah yeah like this and the coins going down from right here now the box here is done, we are going to glue the base together. Glue all the glue tabs. Make sure the edge align properly. Same the other side. I forgot to fold this tab. and here. Now we should have a base look like this. I'm going to attach the cock in the middle first but before I we're going to grab these two pieces. There are three pieces, two of them are like this. So grab those two and stick those two together first. Align them properly. I like the two layers so I'll make the floors be stronger. So we have a piece like this. We need these three elements. We are going to put the cord, pull this end through the hole in the middle. Come and find this end. And also this piece. Go through like this. And we are going to glue the glue tab, but only the first layer of glue tab. This one, see, see, I miss one glue tab. This one is not going through, so make sure all the glue tab, all the tabs out has gone through. That's better. Two, and same as the middle one. Fold down the glue tabs. We are going to secure the glue tab, but only this one, we are going to leave this one. We, are, we won't glue those four tabs, only the first layer of glue tabs, this is very important. Only the first layer of glue tabs to secure, okay? I'm going to forward and then from the other side. I'll make sure the second layer of the glue tab is not stick with it. Make sure this layer is not stick on. Only the first layer. Okay, now the first layer glue tab is secure. We're going to leave it like now and make sure those two, the second two layer of the glue tabs not glue on. It's working fine. Now we'll glue this box on. So glue this box on. So you make sure the hole align. So glue here and bottom. Align the circle here. The inside should look like this. Secure. And we should have a circle with circle hole in the middle. This is goes this piece go here to stronger the structure. Glue it on here. Give it a good press on the other side. 
Now the inside of the base should look like this. We are going to go put this one through the hole here. Come up on this side and make sure the teeth match and it turn smoothly. So this piece stick out. We are going to attach this one on now. So it should go in like this. This. So we are going to put glue on three sides here, 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 and here gonna have attack, gonna have con this three side will have contact with the tube here. Give generous amount of glue, especially this end. And make sure the glue side has contact with this tube. Secure. I'm going to wipe off the glue here in case it glue together. Same here. So it should You can see it works smoothly in either direction. I'm going to leave the glue to dry. Put it over this side. Now the most exciting part, we are going to put everything together. Yes, I mean everything. <laughs> Alrighty, those are the two coin holders. We're going to attach, those are the two glue tab. Attach that alongside here. So you can align them properly like this. Align the two glue tab properly. Same as the other one. Check from each angle. So now we have two coin holders. We are not going to attach a truck yet. We are going to pull this one on to hide the glue tabs. So this one should be able to go through the coin holders and the middle tab. Like this. This is how we're gonna go is this is how we're gonna glue it. So apply glue over at the back. Alrighty. Push through the coin holders. Make sure all the four little tabs come through. Yeah. Give it a gentle tap to secure it. Yeah. Test it out. So later on we are going to put the bank out, but here. Depend on how you like it. I like to go this way, so that means my truck will go this way. So my truck will point to this direction. But if you, if you prefer anti-clockwise, you prefer to go this way, then your truck should face in this way. So you should determine which way your truck want to go and which way you want to put your truck. So I'm going to have my truck point this way. Apply glue just above here because that's the height of the coin holder. I see my truck really should have a different color with the coin holder. Now my truck, the front of the truck kind of blending. So probably choose up. It might be a good idea to choose different color because the head, the front of my truck kind of blend with the coin holder. Anyway. Now my truck is on. And she runs smoothly like this. How cute are they? We are going to attach the bank building on. So when we put the building on, those four little tabs will go through the circle here. 
and it's very important do not put the glue underneath here we'll attach the building on first apply glue on all the tabs except this one no glue on this one Building on, see there are two marks here, that's where the front of the building go. And make sure those four tap guns through the hole here. Yep, the front of the building goes here. Align the side. And the back as well. Make sure the front align the front as well. Here, yeah, here's the front. Yeah. Hold it till the glue is dry. Now the last bit. See those four, those four glue tabs. We should have two circle left. One with a square in the middle. Pull this through and we will secure the glue tabs with this circle. It's gonna be a bit tricky to apply the glue, but we'll be alright. Apply glue at the back, secure it. Press from inside. Press from the bottom to secure the tabs. And I press from here to secure the tabs here. Now see the tabs are secure. I'm going to use this circle to cover all the tabs. So if we turn this circle turn as well. That's where we're going to put a tree on the top. So, which tree should we choose? Mm, let's have a look. I'm going to choose a mixed one. Yeah. Put it in the middle. Alrighty. And we still got three trees left. You can just arrange them on the side. Make sure they are not on the path of the wheel in the middle. Make sure it works smoothly. We are going to seal the bottom. Apply glue all over the glue tabs. And some apply glue here as well. Just a nice extra. Tuck it in any bit like stick out. The last step is to put the box into the bag. And we are done. Alright, moment of truth. We are going to taste it now. Here I have Australian 50 cent. It's quite big. So if you can go through, most of the coins should be able to go through. And this is one dollar. Do you hear that? Ooh. Here we go. We have made another fun project together. My kids have so much fun with this coin bank. Hope you enjoy it too. Thank you for watching.